Now, let me add some new ones that directly address the epidemic. First is Costco, which we own for the Travel Trust. Costco reported a strong quarter last night, even if the stock still got slammed today. Uh, that's a gift. On the conference call, Co- uh, Costco's management said they're benefiting from the coronavirus as consumers stock up on essentials. It's, uh, it, that's, that call is actually essential reading uh, because uh, – Glanty, who's the CFO, did such an amazing job. You'll feel like I do if you read it. Second is Etsy, the online marketplace for handicrafts. Uh, as CEO Josh Silverman told us last week, Etsy's a work-from-home facilitator, and they just support a strong quarter. You, you, you can buy it in stages on the way down. All right, well, then you had a really good quarter this week. Campbell's Soup, exactly what you stock up on when you're worried. You might be stuck at home for weeks in. Can't, we did. Campbell's rallied hard on Wednesday after putting a great quarter. But since then, it's given back most of its gains. Therefore, it's really interesting to me. Now, fourth is one that uh, I've often joked about as Kramer found It's Okta. That's the cloud-based cybersecurity company that handles your login and your verification credentials. In other words, their technology makes it easier for people to work securely from home. Hey, listen, Okta just reported a blowout quarter last night, and their earnings forecast, little light, so the stock fell three bucks today. You can start buying here and then add more if it goes lower. I think the stock would have been up 20 if the uh, Nasdaq hadn't been uh, obliterated most of the day. And then finally, one that everyone's decided is no good and they're quite wrong, which is Zoom Video. That's a cloud-based video conferencing play. Zoom may be the perfect stock for this moment because companies still need to hold meetings, uh, even if people uh, can't physically come into work. They posted some excellent numbers on Wednesday night, which allowed the stock to surge yesterday, although it's now given back that entire gain. I say sold to me. Bottom line. After another panic week where the doom and gloom dominated the headlines, I want to help you identify stocks that are worth buying into weakness. And I think these 20 stay-at-home economy plays, and I know there's 20, that's a lot. I, I'm sure someone will take it and steal it, call it an ETF, make 240 I don't know, $8,000 the instant that they do it, and then $4 million, not credit me, and think, you know what? That Kramer's an idiot. He gave it to us for free. You know what I have to say? I'm an idiot. I gave it to you for free. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.